What's up guys, it's Luke here, and today I'm gonna to give you a simple four-step process to go on vacation for free using credit cards. Let's go. Today I'm going to give you a blueprint to go on vacation for free using credit cards. The first step is also the most fun step. Go ahead and plan that trip. Now this seems backwards, but dream, go big, go for where you want to go. Nothing is off limits when somebody else is paying for it, right? Remember with this, you can go anywhere in the world. I haven't figured out how to go to space yet, but if it's an option at some point in time, I'm going to do it. And while you're at it, don't be afraid to put it on paper. Go ahead and lay out where, when. Do you wanna make multiple stops or do you just wanna to go to one city? Go ahead and lay all that out. The more specific you are with your plan, the more effective your step two will be. So make your plan very specific, start to finish. Step number two is to strategize. Now that you have on paper where you want to go and for how long and what you wanna do, now it's time to strategize how to get there. The biggest part of your strategy is to pick the right card. You don't just wanna apply blindly or randomly. Even if you think you know the card, still do the research. Those cards are changing all the time and new and better cards are coming to market and they're changing the programs constantly. So you need to stay on top of what's going on with those cards right now. There's cards for cruises, for airlines, for hotels. There's the all-in-one cards that do all of those things. So choose wisely, there's so many choices. When you're searching for cards, make sure you align the card with your trip. It does you no good to apply for a Southwest Airlines card if you're going to Paris for your trip. Southwest doesn't fly to Paris for those that don't know that. Each card you look at has various promotions. So your research will tell you if and when it's the right time to take this offer or to wait for a better offer from that card. If you're traveling with a spouse or a friend, you can divide and conquer. They can get the hotel and you can get the flight or vice versa and have backup cards at the ready. I have an 800 credit score and sometimes when you go to apply for these cards, just screwy things happen. So keep that in mind and have a backup plan if the card you're counting on doesn't come through. So step number three is to apply. This one's the easiest, the hard work is already done. While you're waiting to apply, go ahead and watch for those offers, sign up for their newsletter, follow them on social media, all that good stuff like that to find out when they post that great deal. And there are a ton of websites out there that track offers. Apply for those cards from step two when the time is right, when that bonus is high, when you're ready to strike and make that deal. Step number four is to execute the plan. Most of those cards will have a minimum purchase you have to do. Go ahead and meet that early. The earlier you do that, the earlier you get your points. And then immediately go on there and go ahead and book all your flights or your hotels or whatever the case is. The best deals go to those people that are ahead of the game and not last minute. And yes, the flights and the hotel rooms do fill up. There are limited quantities, even though there's technically no blackout dates. I would also consider tracking all this on a spreadsheet or some other way of tracking it. Now, if you plan all this out six months, eight months in advance and go ahead and start then, it's gonna be real easy to waterfall this entire four-step process. And you can get fancy with these cards, right down to paying for your Ubers and your food and everything else. There are a ton of websites out there on this subject, so get out there and do your research. Go ahead and comment down below and let me know where you'd wanna go if you could go on a vacation for free. That's it, guys. That's my four-step process to going on vacation for free using credit cards. Please subscribe, hit that little notifications bell. That lets YouTube know that you like the video and it will tell you when I have a new video posted. And also, if you feel it in you, give it a thumbs up as well. Thanks.